Hey everyone, it's Ryan. What up? And yeah, what up? Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. And I'm going to do a um, quick, short review as possible of Warm Bodies. It doesn't come out till two more days, February 1st, but I saw an early screening of it on December 13th at night. Um, so yeah, and I haven't had time. It's been out, I haven't, I haven't seen it in a while, but I just wanna give it a quick review. Um, it's coming out a couple days. I got an early screening of it, I got very lucky. I went with a friend, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna make a short, I was gonna do like an awesome intro and, but I'm really busy and I am like emotional. I am just drained from college. I had such a long day, I am dead. And I don't have time to like do like a, a like, make like a really edited, well edited review, which is kind of lazy, but I don't have time. So let's do it quick as possible. So yeah, I saw it a month ago. Um, if Let's just, um, it's about a, um, a, a man, like a zombie, named R, and he falls in love with this some um, human, this woman, um, and then he eventually, they have like a human connection, and eventually we learn that he, throughout he becomes to have a heart, and he becomes like actually have, feeling something. Like, it's, I define this movie as an unconventional, and I like this movie, and it's an unconventional zombie horror romantic comedy yeah because you know the thing I, what i liked about it was that um it's well written pretty well written. um some good dialogue the humor was really was was good and what's i'm not gonna say much about it but i thought the humor was um really was kind of funny sometimes sometimes hilarious um the story is actually um a twisted not a twisted but it's like a different take on some story classic story I'm not gonna say what it was, but throughout the movie, I think you'll understand that my friend, who um, actually really liked it a lot, she kind of explained like the what it was like kind of like similar to, and it's pretty interesting. Um, and so it's kind of like a new take on the classic love story. Um, it was well acted by um, the guy who did R, Nicholas Holt, I think he was X Men First Class. He's gonna be in the new Jack the Giant Slayer. Um, he was good. I bought, liked his character. Um, I fell for him and um, the woman. Oh, I forgot the girl's name. She was good. Uh, Dave Franco was good. You know, come on, he's awesome. You know, Twenty One Jump Street and stuff. And it was well directed. The guy who made Fifty Fifty, because thing is that he has to do different types of like genres, like zombie, like rom romance, some drama. I thought he did the tone well. Um, he did a good job. Um, so yeah. Um, it was funny most of the time, which I which was a good thing, and I feel that. This succeeds most because it's different. It's not a typical. I think the marketing. Whoever's watching it, I think the marketing is very misleading. It seems like a very, not. I define. I think the marketing is. It seems to be like, not too smart or like. It seems like a typical romantic, typical, zombie movie. Zombie movie with some romance, but I think the tone is was really well was really well done in the movie. And it felt like a romance most of the time with some zombie horror elements, and it's funny throughout. And I think it's a good film. So yeah, I liked it. My only problems would probably be, I felt that sometimes the middle was sort of slow. Sometimes it kind of got a little boring, and like the narrative wasn't as interesting. Sometimes they could have cut some scenes out. But overall, it was, it went, it was pretty well paced. A lot. So yeah, um, I was kind of tired, watching that. So because I didn't get much sleep. So yeah, um, I liked it. I love it. Um, I highly rec I recommend it if you um, like unconventional, like rom like um, romantic movies, romantic comedies. I like this movie. I'm gonna give it an extremely strong seven and a half out of ten. It's good. Yeah, I liked it. Um, has a if you like if you also like Fifty Fifty, if you like the director, go see it. And there's been a lot of early screenings for this movie to create some buzz, which is. So many early screens, which is ridiculous, but luckily I saw it. I was actually gonna see it again, like a f like a month ago, but my friend was was busy. So yeah, I like the seven and a half out of ten. I wish I want to talk more about this movie, but I don't have time. So see you guys later. So yeah, I highly recommend it and see it on Friday if you want to. Yeah, bye.